A blessed day to you all. My name is Peter Lino from Sydney, Australia. Welcome to Pathways of Hope. Our reading for today is from Mark 8, verse 34, to Mark 9, verse 1. Jesus summoned the crowd with his disciples and said to him, to them, Whoever wishes to come after me must deny himself, take up his cross, and follow me. Whoever wishes to save his life will lose it. But whoever loses his life for my sake and that of the gospel will save it. What profit is there for one to gain the whole world and forfeit his life? What would what could one give in exchange for his life? Whoever is ashamed of me and my words in this faithless and sinful generation, the Son of Man will be ashamed of when he comes in the Father's glory with the holy angels. Reflecting on this passage, I cannot help but remember the life example of a brother in Christ who recently passed away. His name is Bruce Yocum. Many of you listening now may know Bruce, as he was a well-known leader in the worldwide community of communities and a founding brother of the Servants of the Word, an ecumenical international Christian brotherhood of men living single for the Lord. He was many things to many people. For me and my family, Bruce was a dear brother and a friend who often stayed with us every time he came to visit our community here in Australia. Being a missionary and actively involved in community building in many parts of the world, Bruce spent a great deal of time in airports and airplanes. Understandably, all these traveling did take its toll on Bruce. Despite the fatigue from long haul flights though, he would always have time to still listen to our stories. And he would especially make it a point to catch up with our kids and take genuine interest in their respective lives. Unfortunately, it was not uncommon for Bruce to become ill during his visits with all the traveling he did. In one of these instances, Bruce was so ill that he just slept for the most part of the day. Not wanting to burden anyone, it took a lot of convincing for him to agree to come to see a, doc- come to see a doctor. Good thing we did see a doctor, because as we later found out that he already had pneumonia. This, however, didn't stop Bruce from fulfilling the purpose of his visit and continued to meet with our community leaders, gave talks, and spent time fellowshipping with brothers and sisters. I am certain that there are countless stories of how Bruce, like the true servant of the word that he was, denied himself, took up his cross, and followed his master until the very end. As what was said during his funeral mass, He was a man given over to God, someone who dedicated his his entire life for the sake of the gospel. I share the story of Bruce in the context of today's gospel as a way to call each one of you on. We too are called on to, to, to be in big ways and small ways, to deny ourselves, take up our crosses, and follow Jesus. Let us not be afraid to lose our life for his sake. May you all have a blessed day.